The GMMG HD7 trial is a randomized trial, phase three trial, um, involving over 60 sites throughout Germany. And the trial has two randomizations. In the first randomization, we compare induction treatment with six three-week cycles of lenalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, referred to as RVD, compared to RVD plus isotuximab. And the primary endpoint of this part of the study is the rate of minimal residual disease negativity by next generation flow cytometry at a sensitivity of 10 to the minus 5. Thereafter, patients receive a standard intensification and um, high dose melphalan, 200 milligram per square meter, and autologous stem cell transplantation. Next, they get randomized, again in a one to one ratio either to receive a lenalidomide maintenance or lenalidomide plus isotuximab. The endpoint of uh, the second part of the study will be progression-free survival from second randomization. We uh, just presented and analyzed the first part of the study, which aimed at the comparison of um, MRD negativity by NGF at the end of induction therapy, comparing ISA-RVD versus RVD alone. The key finding of the study is that the MRD rates were significantly higher with the use of ISA-RVD versus RVD alone. The RVD rates were 50.2% versus 35.6% with an odds ratio of 1.82, um, highly significantly favoring ISA-RVD. A secondary endpoint, we looked at the outcomes of complete response rates, which did not differ yet, likely due to the long half-life time of the M protein. As other endpoints, we looked at the rates of a very good uh, partial response or better after induction therapy, and these were also highly significantly increased with the use of either RVD versus RVD alone. The rates of G VGPR or better were 77% versus 61% in ISA RVD versus RVD alone. So uh, the safety profile in the study was very good. So with the addition of ISA tuximab to RVD, we did not observe any new safety signals. The overall rate of treatment emergent adverse events was similar between the two induction therapy regimens, as was the rate of severe adverse events. And um, beyond that, we observed a higher rate of neutropenia with the use of ISA RVD versus RVD, but this did not translate into a higher rate of severe infections during induction therapy. And also more patients in the ISA RVD versus RVD arm completed the full cycles, full six cycles of induction therapy. So these results are very important to the community since they confirm that isotuximab RVD has the potential to further increase the rates of NRD negativity in this very early treatment phase and probably also beyond. So in 2023, we will look at the post-transplant outcome data and also at the progression-free survival data. And there we hope to see the data maturing. So I think together with the Cassiopeia trial and the Griffin trial, the GMMG HD7 trial supports the rationale that CD38 antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, will be the new standard of care um, together with an IMID and a proteasome inhibitor for transplant eligible patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma in the induction therapy. And of course, we are looking forward since the GMMG HD7 trial is ongoing to see the results, whether the addition of isotuximab to lenalidomide during maintenance yields additional benefit for the patients.